news this week and today we turn to the events of the past 10 years. And here at home the decade's been dominated by three major events in the South Island. Good afternoon. We're interrupting normal programming with some breaking news after reports of a shooting in Central Christchurch. <laughs> This is an evolving situation. It was a story that many New Zealanders never imagined happening here. There's an armed gunman on the loose after what we understand has been a mass shooting at the mosque just behind me. A gunman live streaming his rampage on two Christchurch mosques before being stopped in a dramatic arrest. It is with extreme sadness that I tell you that as at 7pm tonight, we believe that 40 people have lost their lives and this act of extreme violence. The world was watching, and this is how we responded. You may have chosen us, but we utterly reject and condemn you. Welcome to this One News special. Today, a nation reflects. The decade has dealt Christchurch its fair share of misery. A 6.3 magnitude jolt changed the city forever. It wasn't the most powerful earthquake in recent months, but it was shallow and hit at lunchtime. Okay. 185 people were killed in the 2010 quake. And the city's most recognisable landmark, all but gone. It took an army to get things back to a new normal. We have confirmation. It came minutes ago that there has been a second explosion at the mine this afternoon and that there is now no hope for the 29 trapped miners. We kept hope until it was lost for the families of the Pike River miners. It's going to take this community a long time to recover from it. And as the decade draws to a close, the tragedy is still in the news. Hugs, tears and cheers greeted the successful first step back into the Pike River mine today. Now's a good time to remember we were Rugby World champs twice in a row. The World Cup history. And there have been plenty of memorable moments. The gay rainbow. Please repeat these words. <laughs> Thank you so much. America finally got its man. The United States has conducted an operation that killed Osama bin Laden. And a new leader. This is the image of the new America. Donald Trump's America. A divided America. Some changes back home too. That gives effect to your appointment as Prime Minister. Congratulations, Ms Ardern. News technology keeps moving forward, upgrading to high-definition cameras and smart new graphics. Then the 2.3 kilometre long drift... It allows us to go live wherever there's a cell phone network. One News reporters are stationed in those areas north and south. Meaning we can capture the good... Leave, Tiaraha, Ardun Gayford. The bad and the ugly. <laughs> yep. That's a way to end. Uh, the good, the bad and the ugly. And sometimes, of course, things just go wrong. Tomorrow we'll give you a taste of our best bloopers. Oh, yes. <laughs>